Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be good for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We are going to connect with the person on your mind, person you're thinking about. We're going to look at what they're thinking about when it comes to you, how they're feeling, how they view you, what's blocking or challenging your connection, what are their intentions, next actions, oh my gosh, and outcome. You just had all your cards fly on the ground. Okay, so uh, right away, there's an energy here of someone feeling like this is a true love connection, all right? Trying to remain positive in regards to the situation here. Children could be affecting this connection or there could be an age difference between the two of you is what I'm getting here. You may be connecting with someone new, okay? You have this getting to know each other energy here, revealing, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens, okay? So this could be somebody that you're getting to know. What's going on for Sagittarius? Well, you do have a soulmate connection here, all right? So this connection will bring in a lot of growth for you, transformation, transformative energy here. Sagittarius, Moon Rising Venus. Wow, this could be the one. You deserve love and worth waiting for. Some of you have waited for this connection to come together, but maybe you had to free yourself from another situation first. Okay. Um, this could be the one. So you've already met the romantic partner you're seeking. Okay. Hmm. For some of you, it could be another Sagittarius I'm getting, but it doesn't have to be. All right, let's jump in and see what is going on. So in terms of your person, what's on their mind? What are they thinking about? We'll start pulling cards and then we'll talk through as we as we go. Deception. Hmm. Someone may, um, I mean, on their mind, deception. They may feel like you're not being honest with them about something. How do they feel? They're trying to let this unfold naturally. They're trying to let go of control issues and just let things let things fall where they fall okay they feel like um where they view you in a space of you are not as into them as they are into you what's challenging this connection you deserve love someone here doesn't feel worthy of love so some sort of self-esteem issues um what is their intentions well, in their intentions, they're they're trying to make up their mind on what it is that they want to do in the situation. What is their what are their next actions? There could be a lot of differences between you and this person. Um, age difference, as I was picking up before, uh, the way you guys grew up, it could be a cultural thing, um, just the way your your thought process is, something like that. What's the outcome? Free yourself. I think Leo just got the same same energy here. Okay, so you're freeing yourself from something in the outcome. Overall energy here is healing. You could be healing from something. Let's take a look and see what's going on for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I'm amazing Venus. What is going on in love with your person? Yeah, someone here, uh, this is either you or your person take it how it resonates but someone's having a hard time opening up and expressing how they feel in this connection or they're not fully being honest here we'll clarify and see what's going on it's like this on this person's mind someone here has their boundaries up okay um avoiding conversation not really dealing with what they need to deal with they're, someone here could be upset about something there's definitely an energy here of reminiscing all right, trying to learn from the past, see things from a different perspective as well. Someone may have been, again, deceptive in this connection, and that's what this person's thinking about. And it's either this is them or you, but someone here, because of the deception in the past, is they have their boundaries up. All right, and their feelings. There is a lot of passion here. There is equal interest between the two of you. There is... Um, a, a lot of chemistry, right? You guys have fun together. And their feelings, there's something here about getting back out there and dating, meeting someone new. 
Okay, how do they view you? This person views you as like, it's one-sided, all right? Someone's more into the connection than the other person. Um, there's definitely something here about codependency where they view you as you could be a little codependent. There's fear of abandonment here as well. Uh, they view you as you have, hmm, you may have faith that this could work out is what I'm getting. What are, what's the challenge position? Yeah, look, because someone's not honest. Someone here is not honest. They hide their true feelings. They pretend. They gaslight. What's in the challenge position is having a conversation, meeting, talking, building a friendship here. Um, some sort of ending is in the challenge position. In their intentions, they're trying to decide what it is that they want. It could be partying a lot, spending time with friends, um, living in the moment. Okay, in their intentions, they... They want to date, is what I'm getting. Um, all right, let's see. I had another card fall. Next auctions. You guys mirror each other, all right? Yeah, there's a separation I'm getting. Sadness, bitterness, thinking about you, uncertain about the future. There could be some stalking going on or someone here is really keeping tabs on you. What's in the outcome? This is a soulmate connection, all right? So... Someone here could be, um, mm, yeah, look at this, death. Uh, the relationship is over, no second chances. This could be a karmic connection, but there could have been an unexpected ending in this situation is what I'm getting here. Um, someone may be receiving some sort of clarity or truth. But I do see an ending and freeing yourself in the outcome. Someone may get a call, a very unexpected call here as well. Hmm. Let's see what's going on. What is on your person's mind when it comes to this connection? Yeah, someone's very guarded here. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. Oof. Nine of Wands, Seven of Swords. There's that energy again. Because there was some sort of deception, this is... You guys may be connecting with a Leo. This is very similar energy. But there's something here about um, guards being up due to some sort of deception or sneaky behavior. That's what this person's thinking about. Um... Six of Swords, moving away from a connection. Someone could quite literally be moving as well, um, is what I'm getting here. How do they feel? Someone feels like they need to just let go and um, get back out there, date, uh, meet new people. How do they feel towards Sagittarius? Page of Cups, yeah, the Seven of Cups. Someone here has options or they feel like you have options. Um, they feel like you've kind of withdrawn your energy. They feel like you, there's a fear of abandonment is what I'm getting heavily here, okay? Um, and that's in their feelings, okay? Uh, how do they view you as, It's unrequited love. Five of Cups. There's disappointment, um, regret, sorrow, the star. There's a lot of healing energy here. Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. This has been a long time coming, okay, is what I'm getting here with this energy here. But they view you as... There's a lot of regret. Maybe you have regrets, okay? Um, and there's a lot of healing that needs to happen with that star card there. What's uh, challenging this connection is someone was hiding the truth. Three pentacles, working together, building together, all right? Being on the same page. Two of cups, seeing eye to eye. 
okay, in this connection as part of the challenge. Um, in their intentions, there's, I mean, you may have met this person at a party or you, there's something here about um, trying to make up their mind and make a decision here. Uh, spending time with friends, having fun, living in the moment, Ten of Cups, wow. And their intentions, Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? Eight of Pentacles. The Hangman and the Chariot. Could be connecting with a Cancer, Four of Pentacles. It's like there's something here in their intentions, making up their mind on whether or not they are going to move on, right? Making up their mind and deciding where they're investing their time and energy is what I'm getting here. Hmm. Next actions. I do see a separation. I do see some like uh, watching of the King of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. You could be connected with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, this with this Eight of Cups with the separation card and their next action. Someone's walking away. Four of Cups because they're very disappointed in a connection. Could be. <laughs> could be due to a third party situation. So if you could be connecting with an Aries. There's an energy here. So you have the Emperor 2-2, two, two, Three of Wands, someone making a decision here to withdraw from a connection is what I'm getting. And then the outcome is free yourself. So in the midst of some sort of uh, ending or removing yourself, freeing yourself from a situation, there could be a shocking call that comes through or shocking um soulmate connection something like that that comes through during this time king of swords page of pentacles eight of swords someone here definitely feels really trapped the empress six of wands the tower yeah you have this tower energy twice hmm Let's clarify that real quick before we go any further. What is this tower energy? Because, I mean, you have, um, yeah, you're going to have some sort of unexpected um, offer that makes you really happy come through in a period of, I don't know, like an ending, feeling trapped to a situation, feeling stuck, feeling heartbroken, three of swords. And then it's like all of a sudden... You get a call or something comes through. What is this tower? For some of you, it could be an unexpected pregnancy. So be mindful of that. Queen of Cups could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But there's an energy. Yeah, someone comes in and, and wants to give to a situation here. Interesting. And that's in your outcome. So yes, you are freeing yourself from a situation. But there's something new coming through here. Um... Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You also have Taurus and Libra is what I'm getting. So um, let's see. Tell me more about the situation for Sagittarius. Oof. Way too many. Tell me more. I ran because I wasn't ready for you. I regret what I did to you. I think Leo got that one too. What else? I need to tell you the truth. I'm scared you will reject me. I'm afraid that I lost you forever. Huh. What else? right I fantasize about you they will never compare to you interesting 
I'm sorry I hurt you. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. You're always on my mind. There's definitely an energy here, like especially if you have somebody, this could be you or your person, somebody new coming in, a new connection. It's like you may find yourself or they may find themselves comparing that person to, to you, right? But no one can compare to you. Hmm. Yeah, th there's definitely an energy. Yeah, I'm sorry I hurt you. I didn't realize what I had until until it was gone. There's I definitely feel that energy throughout this reading. So that's what I have for you. I hope that was helpful. I hope that brought you some clarity to your situation. If it, you resonated, make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.